There it is, guys. <clears throat> so this is the uh, garage I'm renting while we're waiting for the permits to go through for the new one. This is my buddy's property. There's a house here he rents. There's a liquor store in the front and there's an apartment here. One cool feature is the guy that rents this apartment is the security guy. So he's got this surveillance truck, full-time security. So that's kind of nice to have right in front of your building. This is the unit here. So the future unit is going to sit right here across right to the other side of that boat. That trailer will be gone. These two sheds will go. And then there'll be two, this will be a 70 by 30 pole barn and then there'll be this garage. And I have the opportunity to rent both or just rent one or rent the other one. For now, I'm starting with this one. And this is gonna be like my garage sale setup. <clears throat> In a few months when the other building's done, the thought process would be the other building would be my, for pallets and garage sale. And this would be the eBay office slash inventory. So picture shelving along the walls. There's a loft storage up there. There's a bathroom. Uh, and then another cool feature, which I don't quite have yet, but basically through these double doors is a roll-up garage door. And you're thinking, well, why would that be there? There's literally a shed attached to it. So there's a 20 by 10 or maybe 20 by 12 shed, um, which I would also have access to. Uh, the only issue right now is the owner still has all his stuff in there. Basically, I don't start renting this for two weeks, but he's let me get in early to start moving. So that'll get cleared out. And in the meantime, he said, um, this shed is empty and I can borrow that or start using that if I need to. But yeah, so this will be, I'm gonna get my pallets in here, start breaking stuff down, start pricing stuff and get my first garage sale. Um, hopefully in about a month. Um, curious to see how the sound quality is. I'm wearing a mic right now, but we'll see how this goes for filming. I'm really hoping that having my own dedicated location out of the house, not having the kids running around and all that background noise, and then also my buddy's shop, um, pretty much every day now they're making sheet metal, so you can't really film there. It's just so loud, banging, to the point where you got to wear earplugs when you're in there. So that uh, hasn't been great for filming, but I did start renting this. Nice big door. I bought the, bought the forklift at auction. I uh, got that at auction for $5,000. I thought I was going to steal it at $4,250, but unfortunately the bid went up two more times. But happy to get it for five. It runs good. I went out and uh, tested it all out, drove it. So a little bit beat up. I'd like to paint it. Um, it also got rusty because it sat outside for three weeks for the auction. So like the forks and stuff, that'll all clean up. I'll use, use the rust remover stuff on that. Um, yeah, so... Super excited to have this space, and the goal would be to get everything in one location. Uh, I started building this ramp yesterday, but I ran three boards short, so I got three more boards with me. I'm gonna finish this ramp up, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna be going to the warehouse and getting some inventory to bring over here. I'm thinking, so here's my thought process, and granted, this won't be for a garage sale. The first garage sale, a lot of stuff would have to be outside in the parking lot, which is fine. He said I'm. I can use it pretty much however I like. So this whole area right here in front, you know, from about where that security truck is, all this parking area right here is all for me. Um, in the summertime, there's a crab truck there. There will be a food truck out there. Uh, he also rents storage to people who would like have trailers and stuff. So pretty, pretty good area. Um, decent foot traffic as far as the main road right here. And then obviously I'll be able to advertise to drive people to the garage sale. So anyhow, open the door up. The door fully opens. I think I can fit three pallets. One, two, three right here. Okay, so I can easily get in. Uh, I'd like to put a ladder system to get up to that loft area with a shelf up there. And that will be like my brand new overstock items that I'm saving, you know, backstock items will be up there. They don't have to get to as often. So that kind of takes up that area because the steps I may be able to squeeze a pallet there if I want I have to decide this tank here is the owners. He said he'll get that out of there next week And then so you'd have you'd have three pallets right here I need to leave that area open for the forklift and that would give me I'm thinking One one there. There's a pipe there. I have to be careful for so possibly on the other side of that two three and the forklift can move forward, no problem. And then the shed, I can put probably four in. So I, I wasn't even keeping track. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, uh, about 10 pallets. And a lot of these pallets that I have, I just need to liquidate and sell. So as soon as I get them over here, I'm pricing them for sale, putting them on marketplace. Uh, some of them need to be broken down and the items need to be gone through and priced for the next yard sale. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video, show you guys the new, the new operation, where I'll be, see, you'll be seeing more filming from. Pretty, uh, pretty excited for those wondering, uh, this is 25 by 30. So I think technically it's 750 square feet. He initially told me it was 800, but uh, after doing the Google Earth measurements of it, I believe it's 750. And then you get an extra 200 square feet for the shed. So about 950 square feet, plus the access to the outside area for tables and stuff like that for a garage sale. I'm paying $1,000 a month and then $100 flat rate for utilities. So no matter how much heating or he, he's going to actually probably put a, a, a split level unit, AC and heat is the game plan. So in the summertime, we'll have AC, uh, running computers, lights, all that stuff. No matter what I run, it's going to be 100 bucks a month. And he's, his house is right behind here and he has a booster on the Wi-Fi. And since I'm friends with him, he said I could use his Wi-Fi. So I got to test that and see how well that works. That would be awesome if I don't have to figure out Wi-Fi, obviously I can do it through my phone, but when I'm not here and someone else is here helping me, I don't want to rely on them. Hey, use your, use your data, use your hotspot. So that's probably not ideal. And also that, that process isn't the best for uploading large size photos to eBay uh, and things of that nature. So got my work cut out, just a quick video showing you guys what I think is the ultimate garage sale location. A goal being doing one sale a month initially and then we'll just grow it from there. And then once the other building's done, I'll be able to do, have this be my eBay office with, you know, nice inventory. I really want to close these walls in. So it's, it is insulated very well. It has foam blown ceiling and then it has insulation, regular insulation on the walls. They are two by six walls with six inch insulation. Um, and then they just used your regular, um, I forget what the heck this kind of wood's called. It's like just what you use for, for building houses, the cheap stuff. But I don't mind that because I think I'm going to cover that, these walls and that wood as well and then paint it off to kind of give it a nice look. So that's that, guys. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. And stay tuned. Make sure you follow and subscribe if you want to see the next uh, garage sale video that I'm going to post. I'll, I'll probably do some videos of bringing inventory in and setting up for that sale. So be on the lookout for that. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great year, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.